I kind of forgot. I got busy on this. I kind of forgot. But um, the last video, you seen the pile of all this crap. Um, I'm going to go through what I've done. These right here are off of a striper on a uh, mower deck. Um, they have all these little wheels on it so it lays down the grass and it makes it look like beautiful stripes down through your yard. Uh, I had this pole laying here. I'm taking some clamps, but this is going to be up underneath. But I'm just, I got to clean this up and weld these exhaust clamps on. And then they're going to be laying up right here, facing up this way on each side and then that way I have a clean weld on that on the sides and then up underneath but yeah it's coming along um, I still got to cut these off but I figured I'd leave them on for right now and uh, that's gonna be the bottom of the trailer there's a few things I got to cut off and stuff I still got to touch up some of the welds and things like that um, I got the pole welded on. I just about ran out of wire, so I'm going to have to go pick some more up where I can finish up the welds. But I got the tires on. Another tire. And I cut a leaf spring off, and I shoved it in there, and then I took the other piece and banged it in there, and then I'm going to weld that up. And I'm going to take the bed rails and go from here over to the corner in the same. That way I can put a toolbox or something right there. And also these right here, I got to grind these little rivets out and stuff. But these are going to go right here. So once I weld them on and stuff, I'm going to cut them shorter probably halfway that way I have double of these pipes and I don't use all of them which I do have a bunch more back there but I'm gonna displace them down there and uh, put a board down in the bottom and then I gotta wire up the tail lights and all that I gotta paint it sand it down real good and paint it but it's almost done all right painting most of it Still got to grind down the tops and everything. But you can tell they're a little bit off and stuff, but it was kind of hard cutting them to at the same time. But these are pretty much good. All I got to do is like smooth them down. See how this one, this how this lower one is, and just grind it down to about there. That way everything's even. But there's some places where I didn't paint and stuff because I still got to weld stuff like that kind of messed up because I want to put the the angle iron over here like I said in the last one I'm still going to do it but I got to grind the paint down again um, I'm going to do something better with with uh, the way I connected that I'm going to get steel plate on each side triangles and maybe even bevel it cut it to where it's rounded with the pipe and put it up underneath and then weld it all that way that way I can haul some really serious stuff in this trailer. I did haul um, logs and stuff, a bunch of brush since it was like this and it was before I painted it. it to me, it seems like a little mini log trailer, which I'm kind of hoping it'd be able to haul maybe like three logs. That's how sturdy I want it, like big tree logs, especially with the long tongue and everything. The wood can, like long pieces, maybe six foot pieces can fit in here but still working on it and everything it's getting there all right oh yeah um i got a square grill which if you guys kept up with me i used an old weber grill for some round fenders for a tractor i was building my daughter which i'm gonna get back to that this winter and right there where them brackets are i got a square uh grill weber grill and I'm going to cut it completely in half like I've done the, the rounded one. And it fits right in there perfect. And those are the fenders. It'll be coming straight up and then curved square. It may stick about, about this far. The tires may stick out a little bit. But hey, I use what I use.
or whatever I got. So, oh yeah, I'm gonna get into this too. I left these on here because I wanna make some type of slides and stuff to where I can hang tools or something on it or just whatever, just little stuff. Or maybe even like small shovel here and there and stuff like that, but yep. Hey folks, figured I'd start off with this. I've been grinding, sawing wood, and everything. And this is what she's been doing. <laughs> I guess it's music to her ears because every time I bring her out here, she ends up falling asleep when I get to working. So hilarious. But this is what I've been, well, this is a little update on the trailer. Um, still working on it getting the wood sides I still got to do the floor and these metal strips a neighbor gave me these I'm thinking of, they're a little bit short but I'm thinking about once I do the floor I'm gonna have them run down that way it'll protect the wood a little bit of when I bash this trailer and stuff like that hauling stuff um, I mainly built this for hauling wood and stuff but um, I'm actually taking all the kids in the neighborhood trick-or-treating, which I thought, I, well, sorry. Um, I think I told you guys before that was another plan with the trailer, trying to get it done. Um, I got old bed rails right here. Um, I actually measured it. It'll go, uh, the angle will go on this side, and I can actually do it on this side too. That way it covers the whole top up. I'm still debating on that. Um, I don't like this because it's very sharp with the kids, stuff like that. Uh, even though I grinded it down and cleaned it up, it still worries me that they'll slice their finger. But I wanted to be able to make like a canopy or something if it's like raining sometime. I want to take the kids out, stuff like that. But... Um, which, like I said before, this is a utility trailer. Um, it's made to be able to haul whatever. But it fits the John Deere very nice. I told you guys I was going to use uh, a grill outside, which I'm going I'm to show you guys now. There's the bar. I had to pack up the bar stools and bring the tractors outside. Yeah, my neighbors left a lot of stuff. I really don't drink that much. Well, really not at all tell you the truth once in a blue moon i'll drink but this is the grill i'm actually going to take all this stuff off i'm going to split it down the middle and i measured it on each side it fits in between those two bars and um if you guys remember the pictures and stuff from before with the with the mini tractor that I was building, with the mini cultivator that I was building for my daughter. Um, I'm gonna do the same with the fenders. They fit in here perfect, wide ways. I got a bracket right here and on the other side to where not only can I weld it across this, but I can weld it to that also on the inside. And, uh, yeah, it's going to cover probably the tires probably to here. They're going to stick out just a little bit, but oh well. I mean, it's made to look a little bit more neat, stuff like that. But um, you got to stay tuned because this thing is going to be awesome. And uh, you guys have a great day. All right, guys, I still got to pick up the wood for the base. But I got a party coming up. So... This is what I'm working on. Working on another table, which you guys seen in the intro that I was building another table, but it's kind of destroyed right now. It's been left outside. But I cut the pole off of that basketball goal. I'm about to weld that. And I actually have the other side of the wheel right here. So I got it drying out. It's not warped like the other one, but I'm about to make a coffee table out of this. Um, kind of excited about this because it's going to look really good once it's dried out it's going to be uh, polyed and all that stuff it's going to pretty much sit like right here where this table is in the middle so um, it's really going to look nice for the party 
um, just stay tuned. Um, I know I've been working on the trailer and everything. That's a separate video, but I'm going to work on this right now until I get the wood done. All right. Um, I got everything strengthened up underneath. I've done all the wood. And I still got to weld some more. There's one right there. I still got to weld. You can see where I welded. I cleaned these up. These are the bed rails I was talking about. There we go. Oh, I still got to finish welding it. I don't have the prettiest welds, but they work. They never break. That one's pretty good. But this is to keep all the kids from uh, cutting their fingers and stuff. Um, I actually used the, where the headboard screws on to there. Um, it's gonna be a mount for tail lights on each side. Uh, later I'll probably put like ambers right here with a strobe and the fenders. I might actually put the tail lights on the fenders. I haven't decided yet. It makes more sense to put them back here because they won't get destroyed and broke and all that stuff. But um, Halloween is tomorrow, and this thing is definitely going to be done. All right. I worked on this to probably like 11 o'clock last night. I got the top rails painted. I got the sides uh, polyed. Um, I'm working on the fenders now. I got the grill in here, and I got the grinder. I'm about to start cutting. But I think it turned out really nice. Um, I'm actually going to put a thick coat of paint in here and I'm going to get some like Rhino liner and I'm going to spray it in here and stuff like that too. I still got to wear it with tail lights. So I'm going to put the lights up there for right now. Later I'll probably end up putting them on the fenders. But yeah, I'm actually quite excited about this thing. I think I'm going to have more fun taking the kids around trick or treating than they are. But uh, let's get back at it. All right, got the fenders on. Started painting them. And scratched that back in there a little bit, sliding those on. I think I'm gonna leave the inside black. I just gotta clean it up. It actually looks good like that. Got the other side. That actually turned out a whole lot better than I thought. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that sitting kind of crooked but well the whole trailer is sitting kind of crooked but I'm about to put the tires on be right back all right got the fenders on got the tires back on still got to paint that wheel but I'm gonna do it later I'm probably gonna paint this here soon. I'm gonna do a double door on the back where I can swing it open on both sides like a, a dump trailer. It actually turned out pretty good. I knew the tires were gonna stick out a little bit but it's alright. Yeah, this thing turned out nice. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. Can't wait for tonight. Peace out.